What up, gang? It's your boy Zai back with another banger. Hey, and today we back with a reaction. And um, you know, we in the Discord, and I see the future project selecting male plants for breeding. So let's get straight into it. Keep like, comment, share, subscribe, you heard me? Yeah, you know it. I'm a high. Give credit to Zaza. Genetics, genetics, genetics. Y'all niggas, we just genetics. I don't know why you try to sell it. I'm smoking the strain. <coughs> it's killing my lungs, but damn, it's easing my brain. All right, gang. So, as you can see, we right here in the Discord, and we got this right here. Let's open him up. What traits do you look for specifically in male plants if you're seeking a good breeder? Well, uh, I'm a big fan of the the stem rub, and I, I really love turpins and the all the different uh, possibilities that there are in the cannabis species so uh that's something that just has done me sir <laughs> off top i mean i don't know i'm i'm familiar with homeboy right here i've seen him you know he does a lot of the first guy who was just you know who started off the, with the question um you know I'm, i've seen him before he's very knowledgeable uh especially when it comes to like uh, the industry and the retail side of things the you know um Yeah, but my man right here, uh, he don't, he just doesn't seem confident in his answer. I don't, I've, I don't know him. Um, looks like he might be from Humboldt. You got the hat on, so uh, he just, he just don't, and, and you know, he, he, he's not really giving. You know, it's, and, 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 and I mean, you can't say it's a whole bunch of different um, traits or that we can uh, chase after when it comes to a male, right? It's, it's really difficult task uh, with. with you know, when we focus heavily on female and uh, we think in terms of how can a male or what should we look for in a male where those inheritable traits will pass down into positive female traits. You know, that's kind of um, my, my brother Aladdin over at Khalifa Genetics. Uh, he, he, he described it best. It's, it's, it's like a dad. Uh, a dad trying to, um, or, or, or someone trying to de determine uh, a daughter's bra size, what it might be based on her father, right? It's, it's impossible, right? But we know there are many ways when it comes to, not many, but there are specific ways when it comes to uh, selecting for a male. The first one he mentioned, stem rub, that's always a good one. Vigor. I mean, that should have been the first answer. Vigor is, is, is the primary uh, trait that we're looking for, first, first and foremost. Um, stem rub, um, I believe through my experience, I always like to see a hollow stem, um, it, 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 but, but um, heavy, heavy trichrome production, uh, heavy, tr uh, you know, terpene profile, whatever it may be, whatever we're looking for. Um, but, but those are the primaries, man. You, you, vigor, though, you can't, you can't leave that out. Served me well forever. And I'll probably never put down that tool, um, you know, no matter what. What and tool? Then, you know, we did some, some testing of males this year. Um, that's kind of a cool trick. But, uh, yeah. And then, I, you know, certainly structure. And if you're trying to breed for homozygosity or uniformity, then you want to look for one that has a similar structure to... You know, if you're trying to make an inbred line, for example, or something like that. So, Gene, you want to do some of that? <laughs> hey, Gene, you want to? Hey, hey, Gene, you want to get me up out of here, man? Hey, hey, Gene, you better come through, cause my boy was looking shaky, man. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know who you is, dog. Shout out to you, homeboy. But uh, maybe, maybe Gene might come through, man. What's up, Gene? Hold on, hold on. Do we mute him up? and seeing really what smells you get from the stem. Um, different ones are different. Uh, so like OG, and everybody's nose works different, but like me, I can pick an OG male hella easy because it smells like dill pickles to me. 
And if it smells like dill pickles, that one has it. And it doesn't mean that it'll necessarily carry it, depending on what you're pulling it from. So if you already have seeds where you know that all the females do smell like OG, and then you f get a male out of there that, you know, like if I was going to be breeding something with OG, for example, I'd be like, okay, what does it need improvement on? So you want a little bit of an improved structure, so it's a little more sturdy. You want improved resistance to powdery mildew. So if I was breeding OGs, I'd probably want to like stick them in a room and. Bro, what are y'all talking about? Am, am I tripping? <laughs> Uh, why? Just answer the question, bro. What, what do OGs breeding and all this got to do with selecting males? I have no idea what they talking about right now. And this dude over here shaking his head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You just happy he helped you answer, but he answer. He ain't saying nothing either. He talking in circles, man. Get them really humid for a little while. Maybe let them droop a couple times before they're really flower and heavy so that I can kind of trigger their stress response so that they'll get attacked on purpose. So you can kind of go, okay, there's the one that, that that's resistant. Because otherwise, if you treat, treat them, you know, if they have perfect conditions and you're breeding for something that's triggered by bad conditions, you're not going to see it. So it doesn't, you, you, it, there's no way to select for that. So you have to kind of put pressures on things to see different things. Like if you want to know if, a bran if the branches are strong, you're going to have to snap them. You're going to have to be like, all right, weak, weak branches. You break some, you know? And then um, like some, some plants grow with like. Uh all right, so what, what are you saying is he's referring to stress testing, right? Stress testing is required. It's, that's right. It's good. But um, in stress testing, yeah, I don't know if he's talking about male specifically though. At this point, I, I'm not. I'm not really able to follow. Um, or you know, it seems like they just trying to. It was a difficult question for them, and I think they really just trying to fill the gaps with just random information that might be relevant. And I don't know what the. I, I'm. I don't know. Uh actually almost sometimes it'll almost look like a bubble um at the at the um junction of the branch and the main stalk so it'll actually be like there's these ones where they'll never break right at the junction they'll actually bend and kind of break over right up from it a little bit and hey look at homeboy homeboy sitting there just straight forward like i think he thinking what i'm thinking because i my, my boy might be the one you know what i'm saying he, he gonna come through but he just straight forward my man right here that started it off now he know he because he got the knowledge so he looking at this dude like okay i don't know what he's thinking in his mind these two dudes is just trying to figure it out they just uh, they like man shit man we just we just winging it shit those ones tend to be a lot more sturdy and they I found those in in most stuff so it's like you know little things like that are cool to look for um but um you know yeah the stem rub is basically if you I really like to um if I can grow something if I have enough seeds if I don't have enough I'll grow them and I'll just use all the males and all the females and do an open pollination so I know I have a bunch more and then out of my favorite females then I'll try some of those. All right, chat. Let me know in the chat. Did he answer the question yet? <laughs> please. Chat, please. Team Zaza, whoever's out there. If anyone's out there and you can hear me. Did he answer the question? Put it in the chat, please. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm about to light up because I, I don't know what's going on. I, I, and you know me. You know, I tend to get a little... You know what I'm saying? So I want to give them their fair share at the same time, too. I just feel like they dancing around the question. And now they just talking in circles. Um, but respect and shout out to them, man. I don't know them, but um, they just didn't do a good, good job answering the questions. I'm going to say how it is, man. Much respect to y'all, dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, listen. I'm just, uh, listen. The people need to know. I'm here for QCE, man. It's about quality community education, man. I have to bring quality to my community through education, man. So um, it's, it's all for educational purposes, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. Much respect. Make sure y'all follow Humboldt. Make sure you follow uh, 
alien genetics maybe i don't know uh you know whoever these brothers are shout out to them make sure y'all follow them man and when i do the fur when i grow them out the first time i'll try to figure out which plants you have to observe a lot so you look okay these plants i can notice these things about them and then when they finish as female plants then you kind of see trends so you go okay well the every female that looked like this or that had the stem rub they wound up being like this and then you can get a correlation there and then you know okay so like if you're if you're looking for a good og male and you go mm, this one smells like og it's like it turns out no the really good og clones to me that i have they smell like pickles so I want the male that smells like pickles. If it smells like OG, when it's done, it might not. So, so for me, that's I guess they focus in heavily on line breeding. They, you know, they 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 they're trying to line breed for for OG Kush, and and particularly selecting, uh, I guess the the primary trait that they selecting for um, is is OG Kush terpenes. So um, that that's what you would consider a line breeding. Um, however. Whatever methods they use to get there, whatever back crosses, inbreeding methods they use to achieve the desired results, either way, it's a line breeding because the breeding is focused on a specific ancestor. And that ancestor being OG, OG, you know. Um, that that that's and that's that's you know, that's if that's what's going on, that's dope. But that has nothing to do with um I'm, I guess he's he's kinda getting around to it a little bit. You know, I'm 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 gonna give him his fair you know. He getting around to it a little bit, like with the correlation uh, between consistency of the females, you know, and you kind of correlate it to whatever male, you know, but he, you know, he's, you know, I guess the primary thing he's selecting for in general, male or female is OG terpene. So um, that not, that's not necessary. You got to remember the question. Homeboy's question in the beginning was, what do you expect a good breeder to look for? And when breeding a male, basically was the question. You know, I'm, I kind of paraphrase, but that was, you know, basically the question. And you know, bro, that was a real simple, short answer, bro. Not smell like OG. So it already smells like OG on the stem. So that it's it's kind of like learning the plants. And I so I like to learn them before I try to really do any selective breeding, and that makes it easier. And that's the thing about looking for male traits is there's overall ones. You don't want one that's a pest magnet. You don't want one that's a fungus magnet. You don't want one that has really weak, snappy structure or, you know, if maybe if they're super hard to clone or they have really weak roots. There's some basic things that you can look for just overall and go, it's not the best plant for these reasons. And you get really, is really like, okay, correlate for the ones with that male one. So you got to learn the plants. Dude, it's still answering the question. Your male because your lights, it's a thing to you. So you want to learn. You want to know Weiler that was all black or all tan. And you're like, I like that one. Nothing wrong with that. You're just going to be going a new place. And you have all right. All right. Didn't even let homeboy. He, he, nah, this, listen, QCE, man, quality to this community through education. That's all I got to say, man. Shout out to these fellas, you know. I'm not here to downplay nobody. This is how they feed their family. Shout out to them. Respect to them. You know, it's, it's not about downplaying nobody. But at the same time, like, bruh, step your game up. Each and every one of y'all should be ashamed of yourself with the way, the way you represented that question, bro. Like, unless, you, unless you're not the person that should have been up there. Like, and that's the, if that's the case, then, then put the right people up there to represent your brand when it comes to this. You know, somebody who actually understands the, the art of selective breeding. And, and is actually hands on with these males. I don't know. Maybe Humboldt, y'all too much in the CRISPR machine or whatever. You don't. I don't know what, what's going on. But um, that wasn't that wasn't a good representation of of, of of some fire breeders, like the question asked in the beginning. But y'all make sure y'all comment, <clears throat> like, and subscribe, man. I do it for educational purposes, man. No disrespect to nobody intended. You know, I'm gonna give it to you straight up. That's just how I am. You know, uh, ultimately, much love to each and everybody. Uh, if you haven't already, please, man, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I drop a banger. You dig? 
And uh, shout out to Team Zaza, man. Season three and season four is live and direct, man. Uh, we're going live Friday on YouTube for a live Q&A, so make sure you tune in there. And um, ZazaGenetics.com, I dropped y'all a coupon code. It is season four, 50% off DeadOps OG only. So take advantage of that, 50% off DeadOps OG only. Use code season four. And don't forget to follow my family, my partners over at HC Infinity. ACInfinity.com. Make sure you use code Team Zaza for a discount at a checkout, man. Much love. Appreciate all the support. And uh, drop those comments, man. Much love. I'm out of here.